Text on is trying to get ahead of potentially icy roads and bridges by spraying a solution that actually lowers the freezing temperature of water. KLTV 7's Jennifer Kilman has that story. Jeff Williford, public information officer for the Tyler District of TxDOT, says the solution to slick roads is a simple one. We're starting to get ready for our brine operations uh, with the with the uh, forecast kind of coming up in the next couple of days. Uh, we're going to get prepared, make sure uh, we've got this brine solution on the road. It's literally just salt water. Uh, you know, if you brine your turkey, you put it in uh, salt water. Uh, it's the same thing. Uh, Maybe have a little bit more salt in it, but uh, what it does, it, it does lower the freezing temperature. We want to make sure people know it's not a cure-all. Um, uh, if temperatures get low enough, uh, if there's enough precipitation, it, the roads can still get slick. And so uh, this is a way to help slow down that process. It, it helps things not stick to the roadway. And so people need to keep that in mind. As of now, the department is focusing on the most traveled roads in the area. We have a tier system that we use. Uh, uh, right now, we're, we're hitting our, our tier one roads, which are like I-20, US 271. Um, we're even going to help with toll 49 here in Smith County outside of Tyler. And if conditions get rough, TxDOT always recommends safety first. If it does turn bad, uh, one, you, you know, keep your eyes on the uh, TV radio. Uh, make sure you're, you're up to date on what's going on. Uh, if you don't have to get out, stay home. Uh, that's what we tell people. That's the safest thing to do. Uh, if you do have to get out, watch your speed. Uh, do all you can to uh, drive slower. Uh, leave enough room between you and the person in front of you. Uh, just do all you can to, to pay attention and, and do what you can to keep each other safe. Jennifer Kilman, KLTV 7 News. And text on crews in other districts were also out today treating other major roads like Interstate 30 and Highway 59.